Spark Books here. Today, I'm going to explain the book, Dangerous Personalities, by Joe Navarro. Take care, enjoy the book, and have a nice day. Dangerous Personalities, 2014, is a guide to the dark side of the human psyche. It offers a look inside the minds of some of the world's most dangerous people, exploring the kinds of personalities that have taken the most lives, as well as taken the biggest toll on society. Learn the traits of serial killers and those who wouldn't think twice about stealing your life savings. Who knows, you might be able to spot trouble before it has a chance to strike. Key idea number one, narcissists will do anything to feel superior. Cinderella, remember, you surely recall Cinderella's nasty stepsisters. Bernie Madoff's superiority and apathy are also narcissistic qualities. This financier scammed many by utilizing new investor money to pay off current clients who trusted him as a businessman and friend. Narcissists only perceive friends as exploitable. These stepsisters were outstanding villains and great examples of narcissism, our first hazardous personality disorder. Narcissists feel they are above the law and would lie, cheat, or kill if it benefits them. The 2001 Enron Crisis, the largest US business bankruptcy, shows the perils of narcissism. Enron's narcissistic CEOs, Jeff Skilling and Kenneth Lay, committed conspiracy and fraud. These two misled to their 20,000 employees, enticing them to deposit their life savings in Enron. These two believed they were entitled to every ill-gotten coin. Arrogance, another narcissistic feature, leads to intricate and grandiose projects. Big ideas serve society, while narcissists profit just themselves. Walt Disney and cult leader Jim Jones demonstrate this distinction. Disney wanted Disneyland to be magical for families to enjoy. Jim Jones used all his followers' money to build Jonestown, a remote South American settlement where people had to follow his orders. Disney shared joy, Jones hoarded it. Bernie Madoff's superiority and apathy are also narcissistic qualities. This financier scammed many by utilizing new investor money to pay off current clients who trusted him as a businessman and friend. Narcissists only perceive friends as exploitable. Key idea number two, emotionally unstable people seek attention and violence to avoid desertion. Psychologically unstable people are harmful. In 2007, reality TV star and Playboy centerfold Anna Nicole Smith overdosed on prescription pills and died. Her impetuous sexual history left her with a child, and many men claimed to be the father. Emotionally unstable people might swing from elation to victimization in a moment. They crave affection but struggle to maintain good relationships. They're wound collectors, accumulating every mistreatment. They'll exploit any social slight, real or imagined, as ammunition. Leonard Torito, a noted criminologist, calls unstable people victims in search of an oppressor. In cults, this neediness can be gratified and given structure that society can't deliver. When they feel abandoned, emotionally unstable people utilize threats, even suicide, to manipulate others. Phil Hartman, a Saturday Night Live comedian married to an unstable woman, died tragically. Hartman threatened to divorce his wife if she relapsed. She killed Hartman and herself. Hartman's pals later said they knew he was married to an emotionally unstable woman for years. Impulsive and risky conduct, including sexual acts, attracts this personality type. Bonnie Parker, of Bonnie and Clyde, was thought to be unstable. She ran away with Clyde Barrow and committed a series of bank robberies that killed nine police officers. In 2007, reality TV star and Playboy centerfold Anna Nicole Smith overdosed on prescription pills and died. Her impetuous sexual history left her with a child, and many men claimed to be the father. Key idea number three, paranoid people can hate and harm anyone. We all have a built-in threat warning system. Paranoid people have an overactive warning system that detects risks from all directions. Paranoid people think this is enemy conspirator conduct. There are several signs of paranoia. They constantly watch others to confirm their unreasonable concerns. The government, family members, neighbors, co-workers, outsiders, ethnic groupings, and others can be monitored. Richard Nixon was famously paranoid. He constantly added adversaries and claimed he couldn't confide in anyone. Paranoid people selectively believe facts in history. They can also link unrelated events and concepts to justify their conduct. Hitler's Mein Kampf was driven by paranoia and rehashed 2,000 years of Jewish complaints. Paranoid like Paul Jennings Hill, right-wing Christian zealot Hill believes killing an abortionist was justified to defend unborn infants. In 1994, he entered a Florida clinic and killed Dr. John Britton and his security, James Barrett. Paranoia can also make people join the KKK and Aryan nations. 
This disposition naturally attracts those who don't need to be convinced of their worries and odd ideas. These organizations also feed their paranoia by obtaining prominent tattoos or donning insignia and costumes that make people stare and whisper about their strange appearance. Paranoid people think this is enemy conspirator conduct. Key idea number four, predators murder without remorse, making them the largest threat. Predators are the most dangerous because they have no conscience. Six weeks later, Abbott stabbed a cafe patron to death because he didn't like his stare. They're ruthless, insensitive, and cold. They will steal a car or use violence to acquire sex. Joseph Fritzl thinks like this. The Austrian predator raped his daughter over 3,000 times in a cellar for 24 years and fathered seven of her children. Fritzl seems aware of his horrible behavior and that he could have stopped at any time over those 8,000 nightmare days when asked about it. I have a wicked streak, he informed the psychiatrist. Serial killers like Henry Lee Lucas, who said, killing someone is simple like strolling outdoors, have this kind of mind, I'd find a victim if I wanted one. Predators have a flat effect even while reliving their awful actions, psychologists say, they speak and act coldly. Dennis Rader, the BTK killer, told the police he chained, tortured, and killed 10 victims in this emotionless manner. Predators use words to manipulate and coerce. Jack Henry Abbott authored in The Belly of the Beast, 1981, while in prison for forgery and stabbing another inmate. Norman Mailer praised the book's evocative account of Abbott's prison term. Abbott used Mailer's work to persuade him to advocate for him at a parole board hearing. Abbott was released. Six weeks later, Abbott stabbed a cafe patron to death because he didn't like his stare. Key idea number five, multiple risky personalities increase the likelihood of injury. Target fixation, when a pilot is so concentrated on a task that she ignores a gigantic mountain in front of her, is a risk of flying. Assigning a harmful personality is risky. Avoid isolating one group too quickly to avoid missing clues. Many people have had numerous harmful personalities. Joseph Stalin shows how powerful dangerous personalities can be. Stalin controlled the Soviet Union's military, intelligence, and citizens. Stalin's many honorific titles, such as Father of Nations, Brilliant Genius of Humanity, and the Corypheus of Science, roughly the conductor in science, show his narcissism. Stalin was paranoid, executing over a fourth of his military staff after World War I due to fears about their loyalty. Stalin's personality clash killed 30 million people. One trait generally amplifies the others, making several personality types more dangerous. Paranoid narcissistic predators are distrustful and self-obsessed, making them even more dangerous. The 2006 arrest of Utah polygamist cult leader Warren Jeffs revealed this. He had intercourse with minor girls at will in his cult, frequently with their mother's consent. Jeff's narcissism showed in his view that earthly laws did not apply to him and that God ordered the crimes. His paranoia and lack of remorse showed his predatory and paranoid sides. Key idea number six, be vigilant, strategic, and aware of others' intentions to avoid harm. People don't notice someone's threat until it's too late. Safeguards are available. Limits. After saying no, don't back down. They'll try to persuade you, but stick to your guns. They'll take a mile for an inch. Join forces. If a hazardous person is torturing you, tell a friend or local services. Having somebody to check in with and validate your experiences is helpful. Louis Pasteur stated, chance favors the prepared mind. Use this information to be safe. Keeping track of time and location helps lessen your risk of harm. Stopping for gas at 11 a.m. is safer than 11 p.m. because violence is highest between 8 o'clock and 2 a.m. Planning ahead makes you safer. Predators use intimacy to dominate your mind, body, money, and feelings. Be aware of your surroundings when withdrawing money from an ATM. Niceness and goodness are different. Since goodness involves honorable intentions, dangerous people can appear lovely but never good. John Wayne Gacy, a serial killer and sexual predator, dressed as a clown for area kids. His neighbor described Gacy as a pleasant guy while detectives exhumed 26 corpses from his Illinois home. Before relaxing, check someone's intentions. If you suspect a harmful personality, try these methods. Limits. After saying no, don't back down. They'll try to persuade you, but stick to your guns. They'll take a mile for an inch. Join forces. If a hazardous person is torturing you, tell a friend or local services. Having somebody to check in with and validate your experiences is helpful. Louis Pasteur stated, chance favors the prepared mind. Use this information to be safe. Dangerous personality suspects have no aid. Like looking both ways before crossing the street, you should examine people's personalities before getting near, 
Be mindful of your environment and actions. Knowing risky personality traits can help you spot risks. Take precautions to warn others and keep harmful people away. To view more content like this, subscribe. Don't forget to like and turn on notifications. The channel really benefits from it. I appreciate you being here.